Okay, that 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 ain't it. So now we are gonna do a filter of two one five. So we filter out all the results that have two a size of two one five. I think it's with two dashes. Yes. And now we only get the results that are of different size. Although it would interest me what the heck we actually got from, for example, web admin. So let's take a look here, and then we can do a host and then web admin on HTTP. What is happening with my keyboard today? I can't write anything. Come on, again, curve h post 127.htb followed by http 127.htb this page has moved so you're telling me if i do an index dot p okay so let's retry this one with index php and then let's filter out the word count of one three four zero and run it again now we will maybe possibly i don't know find something and if not there's still always the option to just give up of course not we are not gonna give up we are gonna find out what's what's the matter with this machine now for some of you it may be what's what wh what are we doing here we've almost spent an hour and we've achieved almost nothing yes all right let's continue so we didn't find any useful subdomains with like the small list of 5000 we could go with the bigger one of a million but do we really care that much no what we actually want to do now is go to this one. No, not this one. And copy this. And now we want to actually pass for subdomains or a recursive. Let's go with recursive. That sounds more fun. And, and I, I don't know if we need verbose. Here we have pass. And here we have one, two, seven of h3 and for the wait list we are gonna go with discovery web content what do we have here they did have a special name web content directory list and let's go with the medium one all right and now we fast this one and the options just the options that i have here just tell me a try it with p at the end and without dot php at the end and also do it recursively so if you find something look deeper if that's just a directory all right so let's run it now oh, come on i have to put an ic to filter out the comment stuff i think or did i just break it now because now i got a couple of errors and i don't like that maybe the ddos protection bullshit thing took place now let's remove the one with the 17 so we have a nicer 17 all right so and now I'm not sure if we may have to do some throttling or some stuff like that to actually find out what's happening on here. Somebody's cutting grass outside and it smells like that. And I notice it because I'm allergic to that. So if my eyes are starting to get red, please tell me chat. Maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe let's, let's try it with the verbose option because I'm not sure what we have a couple of errors there, and I'm not sure what those errors are. And maybe if we do it verbosely, we will see what those errors are. And we can maybe act accordingly. Because sometimes errors are also important, but it doesn't look like it's going to tell me what those errors are. If you look at this thing down here, do you see it? We have like 43 errors, 44, 45. But what kind of errors are those? It's cool how knows that if it's with a .php it's not supposed to do it recursively since that's a file not a folder but what are those 100 errors that we can't even see what kind of error messages we get also what are these 200 errors that are happening here i don't know maybe somebody from the chat can tell me maybe we can just google what these errors means like i don't know real hackers so uh the hacker errors show errors maybe something like that ah maybe that's something i should put like in my cheat sheets Man, i didn't think about that didn't i here we have a content discovery masterclass fantastic do we want to watch a content discovery masterclass together that could be a perfect reaction video how long is this masterclass half an hour i'm not watching half an hour to find out how to read those errors 
just tell me yeah i don't want to stop or break on errors i want to I, I want it to tell me what those errors are so let's just ask again show error i mean i'm i'm having almost 600 errors and i have no information as to what those errors contain i mean we have just to wait here i have 751 errors sorry 700 over 750 errors and i'm not sure why but oh wait Ooh, what's this? Can we open that up? It's loading something. I, I have a feeling like the DOS thing is preventing us from doing the stuff that we need to, for example. Can I still access my super awesome website? Can I even access this site? Okay, it looks like we're back. Maybe we have an index. Ooh, can we upload something? Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we can like upload a file with the file name that's outside of the scope. Should we try that? Let's try that. So we are gonna upload food. Where are we? We're going back. No, wait. We're gonna go into the public one and we're gonna put index.html. But we are gonna call the new file.index.html and then upload it. Of course, it's permission denied. Okay, so that plan we can just throw it down the toilet let's take a look at what we have here okay i think we may be like over exerting yeah look at this we have like thousands of errors can we throttle stuff raw maybe that's also something i should have put in my cheat sheet my cheat sheet is honestly not that great as it turns out let's go what's another word for throttling rate limiting rate rate limit i mean let's do it like this boom nothing i mean i saw something about minus rate yeah requests you can specify maximum number of requests that can be sent per second okay let's do a rate two i mean this is gonna take for fucking ever but i guess our error rate will go down drastically if we do it like that so this is gonna take forever because imagine that we have 441 thousand so divide that by two and then you have the amount i mean we have we still get four errors so we still like are overwhelming this thing let's take a look at the statistics if it works it's not looking like it's working maybe the site crashed after all is my super awesome website still working can i go here to home it doesn't seem like it's working did we break the website that's what I want. Let, let's actually stop with all this, this fussing for a minute. I just wanted to find out what the admin interface is called. Not break the damn website. I, I wasn't even doing some hard fussing. It was like a simple sweet fussing thing. All right, so should we just restart the server and try again? And I'm not up for that idea. But maybe that's the way to go since the website seems to be down. Oh, this one's up. Okay, so the load average isn't even that high. Not sure. We have to wait this many seconds. So let's do a quick math exercise for 1000. I mean, do we really care? Yeah, we do care about the little numbers because they add up. Uh, 118. One eight seconds. That's two hours. So we're just gonna have to wait 122 hours. Piece of cake. That's gonna take for fucking ever. 